Good afternoon, everyone. This is Reverend Dr. Cynthia Red of the Preachers I took the website down. Come on. Right, where's the issue? Um, sometimes people come in your life and create havoc. Now, you may move somewhere and cause a neighbor to create havoc where you forget something you got to do important and then upset you and they'll threaten you. And then, you know, you, you'll say it out loud that you got to do it and then you forget to do it because they did something. Um, that's what happened with me. So I started noticing that God is telling me that people are coming to my life to be on assignment or in my life to be on assignment to destroy every good thing that he's put inside of me and about me. So what I do now is um, I have to believe God that I'm protected. I have to believe God around my things, that I own everything. You know what I'm saying? So now in the name of Jesus, I'm with y'all. I pray uh, Psalms 35, Psalms 91, protect us, Lord. Because Psalms 28, which says every man must go by by the labor of his own hand. But don't take down somebody else's labor because you ain't God or you don't want them to have it. You know, because if you attack them, maybe you attack the way they live. You know, you take everything. You take their labor. You take their car notes. You take everything. But God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to be victorious for us because Psalms 128 and 2 covers us. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for it. I thank you for John 3.16 concerning that Jesus is our Savior and that we know how to give honor to him, says the 24 for elder saints, elders around the throne. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you now in the name of Jesus. It was saying my father had about sickness. February will shake you, but March will take you. And it's not just always about sickness, it's about other things in your life. Remember now, we're in the first quarter of the year. And so fighting on into the first quarter of the year to hold on to the things that we've had that are valued to us, we must fight the good fight of faith and stand and believe because um, Hebrews 11 and 1 tells us, Faith is the substance of things, hope for evidence of things not yet seen. Let's fight the good fight of faith. Let us work, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Amen. And all those who want to give their life to the Lord, do so now at the time. This now is a good time. But begin to recognize the enemy. Amen. So remember that some people come into your life that have existed in your life. You may even bring them into the world to take you down. Remember that in Jesus' name. Take Ephesians chapter 6, verses to the end. And remember, remember, fight the good fight of faith. Amen.